In this video tutorial, I'll be walking you through the basics on how to place an image into a shape or more like how to power clip an image into a shape or more like clip marks an image into a shape. Alright, it's very much simple and very very easy to do. So without wasting much of our time, let's jump right in. Alright, so um, we have a PNG image here and we have um, a JPEG here. Alright, so um, let's start with the JPEG. So there are three ways you can power clip or place an image into a shape in Corel Draw. First of all, um, you right click, then you select power clip. Then this arrow pops up asking you, where do you want me to place this image? So you can point it into whatever shape you want. All right, so that's one way. All right, so the second way um, is um, to select the image, then hold on the um, right click button, then you drag using the right click button and place it into the image. All right, then you drop. You place it over the image, then you drop and you see this option, you power clip inside. Alright, so that's the second way. So let me go over it again. You select, then use the right click button and, and drag over the shape you want to place the image into. Then you drop, then you see this option to power clip. Then you undo that. Then, then here you have it. So let's undo that Ctrl Z. So another way, which is uh, the last way to do that, is select the image, head on to the menu bar section, and go to object, under object. Then you come to this area per clip then you place inside frame so you have this array here again looks familiar right so it's asking where do you want me to place this image then you point it into the area where you want the image to be placed so um that is it so um well you might be wondering once i place this image inside this shape how do i edit it so um there are different ways to do that i also have a detailed video in the description below on how to edit a power clip and how to also exit a power clip so for the sake of this video i'll be doing that here all right so um let's power clip using this image so i prefer to this method is much more faster you right click then you power clip the image into this area all right so to edit the power clip so you go to this area you see edit here so if you're using a lesser version you see um uh, an icon here so you can click it and edit so for this you click on edit then you can reduce the size hold shift and reduce the size all right then you can play around with it then to exit the power clip hold control then you click or you click on finish whichever one you prefer so that is it so without you can also edit this power clip without actually entering into the power clip so how do you do that so um for windows you hold you select the shape Hold on the Alt key, then you click, then you see this, um, the note turns to um, a field black color, so um, this is it. So you can drag it, reduce the size, so um, do whatever edit you want. So and um, that is it. So if it's for a mark, you hold on the Option key and you make your edit. Alright, and um, if here's a bonus trick, alright, so if you want to create a pop-out effect, so I'm um, like you often see so it's very easy so you edit the power clip so you drag the image so you, you must make sure the image is um goes over this blue line here all right so hold control and you drag so to do that just select the image control c all right click then you copy and is it the power clip hold on control click on an empty area here then you paste that image you copy it, control command plus v head on to the toolbar section you select the shape tool then you drag you highlight this area good control then you drag to this area all right so um that is how to create a pop-out effect all right guys um so here's another bonus tip again all right so um let's duplicate this control d all right good control then you drag to this area so to edit the to that entry and so to edit um the image without actually entering into the power clip hold on alt like i said then you drag all right so um let's copy this control command plus c and paste control command plus v all right so um let's say we want to replace this image with this one right so um to want to replace it so you select the image and hold on the letter k on the keyboard and it replaces this image right so it replaces it there are no duplicates so it replaces the image 
so um let's undo that so how about a situation whereby you want to add another content into the frame of the power clip so you select the image and you drag hold on w this time and then you get to add it so this is it we still have a copy of the image here all right so let's undo that Control command plus z all right guys um that is it on this video on how to place an image into a shape in coral draw it's very much simple and very very easy to do all right guys um if you found this video helpful do all to hit on the subscribe button turn on the post notification bell to get notified when i upload new videos and don't forget to like share and drop a comment and let me know what you think about this video thank you for watching and i will see you on the next video tutorial